Janice, and welcome to the Real Estate Wholesalers Club. This is four weeks to your first virtual wholesale lease option deal, yo. This is session numero cuatro, four, number four. We're going to show you today how to find a tenant buyer and get a check. How do I do it, Justin? How do I get a check? I just need a check. If there's one thing I need in my life, like oxygen, it's a check. How do I get one? <laughs> Please, Justin, tell me how I find a tenant buyer with some money. Oh, I'm about to. Oh, we about to. Yep. So that's what we're doing today. We're talking about wholesale and lease options. Today, we're jumping right into the... We're jumping right into the topic today of finding tenant buyers. How do you find a tenant buyer that has money? Right? Yeah, you can find a tenant. Hey, you can find any old Jake Leg out there that wants to move into a house, but you got to find one with some of that money. Yeah, that's the way you got to do it. So that's what we're talking about today. We're wrapping up the four weeks to your first virtual wholesale lease option deal. Hey, Aaron, good to see you on there. Kelly, yep. Reading the back of that box, man. Gosh, that was my favorite thing to do as a kid. Sit there and eat cereal. Of course, cartoons and all that. We didn't have internet when I was a kid, so we just read the back to uh, the, the cereal box. Uh, somebody had to go adjust the the aluminum foil rabbit ears or something on the TV. Yeah, that's uh, that's what we're talking about today. Hosting all these options. We're talking about finding a tenant buyer. So let's get right into that and uh, let's talk about finding a tenant buyer. Yes, we are opening up the chat line. If you've got some questions, if you've got some concerns, if you've got worries and fears, we are here to crush those worries. We are here to crush those fears. You can do this. Stop lying to yourself. You can. Quit making it hard. Quit making it complicated. It's about the most simple stuff there is. Absolutely. Saturday morning, shut up money. Woo. That's that money where you tell hey, you tell yourself and you tell anybody else that, that's poo-pooing your dreams. You tell them, hey, listen. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. I already got my shut up money. I already got it. I know it works. Are you crazy? I got my shut up money. I got it. All right, guys, so we're about to show you how to find a tenant buyer with cash to, to pay, to play. All right, real simple techniques. There's two techniques I want to show you today. There's a third one that I really, really, really want to. <laughs> I did show you the buddy, brother. Uh, there is something here that I want to mention that I won't show you how to do because I feel like probably most of us could figure it out on our own. But Craigslist, listing your new found wholesale lease option property deal in the for rent section or the for sale by owner section of Craigslist is a tremendous way to drive traffic. Tremendous way to drive traffic. I've got Lots and 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 lots, guys. Lots of people will call you, they will message you, they will email you off of a Craigslist ad. All right, That's guys. Fine. Yeah, if you're over here on Facebook, you can see I'm on my Facebook right now. And uh, all you got to do is uh, check into the create button. And you can see marketplace listing down here. You can create a lot of different things, but you can create a marketplace listing. And if you guys have never been to Facebook Marketplace, you're nuts. <laughs> Look at that. There's a house right there. Somebody's selling a house. Look, if you click the sell something button over on the left, this is what pops up. Sell an item, sell a car, sell a house or a piece of property. Yeah. Yeah, so here you go. Now, when you click sell a piece of property, it pops up like this. And guess what, guys? Durr. Fill in the blanks, eh? That's all we got to do is fill in the blanks, man. Well, what if you don't know the answers? Well, they're real simple questions, guys. This is not a test, and, and I think you would pass if it was. 
put some pictures up in there. Just go around here. Look, don't sweat it. Hey, don't let your eyeballs cross. Just, just take a breath. Look at this. Okay, just fill in the blanks. I'm just making up some stuff. Just as an example. This is the market. Guys, I have sold more deals on Marketplace for free than I can shake a stick at. Okay? That's the facts. Yeah, fill in the blanks. How hard? How hard is that? Now, I'm going to give you a little tip here. I'm going to give you some pointers here. Now, use some wording like this. Okay, it asks you what the rental price is. I put that in there, you see. I say lease in the description right away. I say lease with option to purchase. Reasonable down payment required. All right, so now that everybody sees this, they know. They already know, okay? So there's no hiding that they're going to have to have some money. All right, so and that's really what you're wanting to go for. You're not looking for a tenant. You're looking for a tenant with a with a, a handful of cash. So put some wording in there like that, okay? Good credit, bad credit, no credit, okay, it doesn't matter. They can own that house in 24, 36 months. All right, I'm going to finish filling in the blanks. It's real simple here. I'm going to make up an address and, oh, look, something in Ferguson, Missouri popped up. How funny. I have no idea. Evidently, there's a test street in Ferguson, Missouri. Missouri? Yeah, it ain't New York City. I, see, I threw a picture up there. Guys, 50 photos. Might as well put as many photos up there as you can. Well, where do we get photos if it's a virtual? Well, you ask the seller. Hey, take some pictures and send them to me. All right? Okay, 1,000 square feet. I made that up. I'm making up all this. But look how detailed you can get. Just right here, it's real simple. It's like no-brainer. Cat-friendly, dog-friendly, whatever. Post. Okay? Post this. Sorry, my... My ex-wife is coming to pick up the kid. <laughs> I'm just like you guys, I told you. All right. Now you can see, here's the here's the post I just made. Now, look at this button, post in more places. Look, click this thing. Now, every group that I have joined, it will pull up here and it'll ask me if I want to share it to that group. Automatically, all of them at the same damn time. Right? <laughs> at the same damn time. <laughs> at the same damn time. Okay, get it. Get get some. All right, here's the list. Here's the listing. All right, you take a look at it. This is what it looks like when somebody else sees it. Look how pretty that is. Look how nice of a job Facebook did for you. They did great for you. They built a nice listing here for you. All you had to do was fill in the old blanks. There's always a blank that needs filled in somewhere, ain't there? Right here, there's a bunch of them. Fill them in. Get crack a on that. And I'll tell you what, they will be, people will be messaging your butt, and they will be asking you about that, and they'll be saying, how much down? And your first question is, is well, uh, have you driven by the house? Have you seen the house? Are you interested in it? Yep, there is a pay-to-play fee if you want to be a rent-to-owner, and that's what this is. How much money are you working with as far as a uh, down payment goes? That's what I would be asking them. Yes, sir, Bob. So they'll be hitting you up off this ad. And you know how much that costs? You saw me put my credit card number in there, didn't you? Nope free guys i'm like the tightest ass guy around i don't like spending money on stuff except fun things and what i want and i find all kinds of free ways to do shit man i'll just be real with you i don't like spending money now you could come over here to the create buttons and you could click add the first time we clicked marketplace listing this time we're clicking add and you can see it will pull up the facebook ads dashboard And, man, my dog is just all over me right now. Go lay down. What in the world do you want for crying out loud? I feed you. You just, all you do is eat your, all you do is lick yourself and eat my food. Get out of here. No, I love my dog. 
My dog's amazing. All right, guys, that's how you do it. You just follow the instructions there with the uh, Facebook ads. <clears throat> but the two free places that you need to be posting these property deals that you get Craigslist. It's free. Number two, you need to be doing it on the Facebook Marketplace. It's free! It's absolutely free. There is nothing in it whatsoever that will cost you money. Now, get response does cost a little money. It's worth it. Very, 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 very much worth it. Also, paid ads on Facebook are very, very, very worth it. If you try the two free, okay, let me just break it down for you. So you completely. Here's what I do. I get a, I get a lease, op, lease option wholesale deal under contract with a homeowner, landlord, seller, what have you. Then. I'll, with the pictures and the information, I'll build a Craigslist ad for free. That usually does the trick. I will at the same time build a free ad on Facebook Marketplace. That also usually does the trick. Free. If after a day or two, I'm not getting very many responses, I will move to get response or direct to Facebook ad dashboard and I will build a paid ad for five dollars a day that's it five bucks five dollars a day now you're not gonna have to run it for 30 days you're not gonna have to run it for six years if you can run hey Janet good to see you here hey Jim good to see you if you run a Facebook paid ad it's five bucks a day minimum okay that's what they charge you minimum five bucks a day uh, it's what you have to be willing to invest. Okay, you can set it up very specifically. I will set up a paid ad. Sometimes I'll just go back and boost the marketplace listing that I made. Yep. Which what's boost mean? It means I'm making it a paid ad. It's it's I'm paying a little money to have them boost that thing out there, and I'll set the audience to be. Get this, guys. This is a big one. Listen to this. When I do a paid ad on Facebook with a rental property like this, a lease, a wholesale lease option, what I do is, is I target the zip code the property is in. Anybody over age of 18, up to 65, they will have an ad on their Facebook wall in their news feeds that is this property deal. And they will have <laughs> been exposed to everything that I am trying to sell off right now with this property deal. Paid ads, they also work. So I try the free stuff first, I give it a day or two. If nothing big is moving for me, then I'll move to a paid ad and I'll do that for two, three, four, five days. I'll spend 20, 25 bucks tops. I can't tell you how many property deals I have sold for less than 20 or $25 on a Facebook paid ad with the audience niche being the same zip code, the people in the same zip code as the property itself. Yes, we don't want to waste any more of that precious time now, do we? I think that's something special about my generation, Generation X. I think we're the first generation in a while that's been like, hey, work. What? What? All right, I get that I have to, but where's this? Where's this freedom shit everybody keeps talking about? That's what I'm talking about, and that's what I want. I don't like going and telling a boss, "Oh, hey, boss, Mr. Boss Man, uh, hey, I'd like to go see my family, my relatives. They live a long way off, and I'd like to, I'd like to go see them. I try to go see them one time in every year of 365.25 days. Can I please, Mr. Boss Man? Can I please go see my family? 
Oh gosh, makes my stomach feel. So I get it. I'm just like you. I feel the same ways about all kinds of stuff. I have the same kind of battles and struggles that many, many of you have. Like I said earlier, I've got, I've got child support payments and mortgages and cars and, you know, creditors and business bills and man, shit. You think I figured it all out? I ain't figured it all out. I'm just trying to tell you how to wholesale real estate. That's it. I love you because I see myself in you. Yeah. And I know you watch me, maybe, because you see a little bit of you in me. And there's something there that kind of connects us together a little bit and makes it worth spending a few minutes watching. Makes it worth spending a few minutes communicating to you, telling you, hey, listen, man, I'm not special. I'm, this, this shit's so simple, man. The, the gurus and people, they make it so complicated sounding. And, and honestly, man, I do too, really. That's why the it's not complicated, but there's a lot of little details on how to do this and that, and where do I go for this, and where do I go for that. And you can watch videos until the cows come home and still not have all the answers. You can have a coach. I'd be your coach. I'll help you. I had a guy ask me last night. He was talking about doing the, the coaching. He said, hey, are you still serious about that? Would you, would you really do that? Justin, would you get on three-way calls with me as a coach? Would you get on three-way calls with me and, and buyers and sellers until I can get confident enough to do it myself? Are you kidding me, man? I'd love to. All right, one more thing we're going to talk about finding tenant buyers. Let's go! Yes, yep, 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 yep. Let's go. We're going to do it right now. I'm going to show you this. This right here, guys, is in the modules. It's in the, the blue button under the videos in the modules I showed you earlier. Yep, this is in there now. Yep, so all you got to do is go there and look. Here's my disclaimer. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not even really a college grad, to be honest with you. Uh, so, you know, uh, take my advice for what it is. It's a country boy's advice. That's exactly what it is. So... But I can tell you, my experience is, is that I've used these documents and they've worked for me. And here's what it is. A lease option agreement memo, which you've already seen in previous modules. A tenant buyer application, which you have not seen. A lease agreement with residency. Uh, that, that's, you know what that is. It's a lease agreement. It's a rental agreement. Okay. Uh, somebody's asking me a question. Do I look for tenant buyers or sellers? Yeah, you're going to look for sellers first and then tenant buyers next. Okay, so here's a lease agreement. The next one is an option to purchase agreement. I might not have understood your question right, guy. I don't know who it was. It was real small on my screen for some crazy reason. All right, here's the option to purchase agreement because remember, this is a lease option. So you got to have a lease and you got to have an option. So number three is the lease and number four is the option. Okay, and then you're going to assign that lease and that option. Okay, well, you're actually going to assign the option. The lease is going to get straight up set up between the seller and the tenant buyer. But you're going to assign your option with the seller over to that new buyer, that new tenant buyer. Okay, now here's the best part about this little packet I put together for you of, of documents. Now, it can be complicated because, look, there's five different documents here in this closing packet. All right. But look what I've done here. The first one, tenant application. I've put them in order for you. And then I marked underneath the title on each document who is supposed to be involved in this document. Okay, this is just the tenant buyer. That's it. So the tenant application is only filled out by the tenant buyer. Isn't that nice? Okay. Here's the lease option agreement memo that you've already probably had filled out by now. If you've already been through the first three sessions, you probably have one of these filled out and you're looking to find a tenant buyer to assign this memo over to. Okay. Now, the next one, first right of purchase. This is the option. And you can see it says right there, property owner and the tenant buyer. Okay. They will fill this out. 
Now you can see it's all fill in the blank stuff, nothing too complicated, and you can you can you can raise rents every year, you can blah blah, or you can not. It's all up to you. It's pretty flexible. Okay. This is just a basic option agreement, really. Now, the next one is a statement of understanding, and the tenant buyer needs to fill this out. All right, and basically it's just saying that they understand they're leasing the property from the tenant from the owner and if they default on the lease payments that you know, subject to whatever interest law may determine to have at law uh, they will be evicted as residents in other words they understand hey listen this is a pay to play this is a pay to play and then a pay to stay all right, and if you don't pay to play, you can't get in the front door, and if you don't pay to stay, you can't stay. And this is very clear, very clear. So there's no way they're going to come back to you and say, hey, you didn't explain to me that blah, blah, and this and such and whatever. Okay, well, yeah, here it is in black and white, guys. You, you, you don't remember reading it? Okay, nobody's going to complain anyway, but if they ever did, here you go. Property owner and tenant buyer need to fill out this residency agreement. This is a lease agreement, guys. Just a lease agreement. You know what a lease agreement looks like. Yep. You know what a lease agreement looks like, because we've all had to fill out probably a dozen of them in our lives. And I'm just going to skim down this one. You can see the tenant buyer and the owner need to sign that. Okay, now here's an addendum to the lease option agreement memo property owner and blank that's you and tenant buyer all three of you need to fill in this one okay and it's filling in the blanks now look at this a sign or buyer a signee buyer and seller understand that these monies paid to a sign or buyer also serve as a signee buyers consideration in this contract and will apply to the purchase price as stated in the first right of purchase. So see how the, all these documents are linked together. It's a package. But basically what it's saying is, is hey, you ain't getting your damn money back. This is a pay to play and then a pay to stay. And once you pay, you don't get your money back. Okay. And this is in writing right here. So everybody knows this is what's happening and this is why and this is how it works. Now you can see I highlighted it down here. Please make a bank check or money order payable to me. Yep. When they fill out this agreement, when I have the seller and the tenant buyer and myself fill out this packet, and usually it's through dot loop or some DocuSign type situation, then I also collect money. Because this stuff right here, it ain't no good till I get a check. Right? And I'll be the last dude to sign it until I get a check. Yep, 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 yep. So take some time, guys. Go through the documents. I showed you where to find them. Familiarize yourself with them. Understand how they work. Understand how they, they support and assist and aid and are connected with one another, these documents. And then I've made it real easy because I've put on each document who these documents are pertain to and who needs to be involved in filling it out or signing it okay so that's that's basic paperwork there guys um, I know that there's no way that I'm going to go through this entire packet and answer every possible question you may have that's just not going to happen and again like I said I'm not an attorney I have used these documents before you know where to find them now go familiarize yourself with them go go uh, you know Go investigate. You got to investigate. You got to figure it out, y'all. It's not hard. I put it right there in front of you. You know, sometimes we just get lazy and we don't want to read things anymore. Can you believe that? We, we, we're so lazy nowadays that we don't even like to read things. Like, what do you mean? You gave me five agreements I have to read? Shit. I gotta have like two months or something to get this done. This five pages. This five pages. How am I gonna get? How am I gonna get through? It's real easy to get through, guys. Just, just take your time. Print it out. 
put a stack of them on the back of the commode and in the morning when you're doing your business just take it through and you know give it an old looky looky loo and rip you off a sheet and <laughs> I know I'm just sitting here quiet but I was just thinking for a minute and I was just kind of feeling I was visualizing how good how good things are now not nothing's perfect but there's never been a more perfect opportunity and there's never been a better time now what I want to know is is are you gonna let procrastination and laziness somebody told me one time they said listen the weight of discipline discipline doing something consistently the weight of discipline is far lighter than the weight of regret I think it was said like this actually the weight of regret is by far heavier than the weight of discipline guys if I can do it you can do it anybody can do it anybody can do it with the tools that exist nowadays if, if there's if there's anybody if there's anything if there's any situation keeping you back from this then that's happening right here because it's super duper simple in fact it's so simple damn near everybody already knows how to do it they're just not doing it you gotta win this fight right here guys you gotta win this battle right here you gotta get rid of them evil you gotta get rid of that evil damn image in your mind of you being a failure unless that's the person you want to be fight fight it be the master of something be the master of your own mind as I've said before in the great words of in vogue free your mind and the rest follow <coughs>